Hey, Mike and Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Vision by Stuff Cornhole. Let's go ahead and dive in, break down these bags. We'll start with the slow side of these Vision. This is a this is a unique material. I don't know if I've seen this in a bag. I don't recall ever seeing it. I don't recall ever throwing it. The best way I can describe it to you is it has a similar feel to it as the reverse side of that surefire slow side material. So the same side that Reynolds uses on the slow side of the Typhoon, that softer side of that material, it has that soft feel to it. However, it is a thicker material than that, and it plays a little quicker. That stuff calls this a six speed, I believe, on their website. It's probably a six is good. Maybe maybe the slower end of six, maybe maybe between a five and a half, six, somewhere there. But I, I'm gonna call it a six. It's just a slow six. It's it's a great material for running the hole. It, it, it really plays well. I, I I had a lot of fun throwing this. Uh, it, it's definitely for me. I tend to be more of a slower back thrower, so this is more of a fast bag speed for me more if i'm if i want to run bags in the hole this is kind of the speed i want but we're gonna call this a six speed on the slow side fast side this is that pro sniper viper fast side nine speed crazy fast great for pushing collecting cleaning up messes sliding up any more conditions so this vision here is about a six nine speed bag template wise it's a medium template fill wise it's a medium amount of fill now with the fill, there are options. Stuff, you know, the ACL changed the rules this year and allow you allow bag makers to come out with different weight bags and they can put light, regular, heavy weights on the bags and allow us as players to mix and match it if we want to, as long as we're playing the same bag, we can mix and match weights weights with them. Stuff was the first bag company to actually take advantage of that rule change and they kind of blazed a trail for the other bag. So when you see other bag comes out there with L's and H's on their bags, Stuff was the first one to take that chance to do it. I actually did a bag, a, a video comparing the different weights of the bags and my thoughts on that. I'll pull link that to the end. And in that video, I actually had Stuff bags because that was, again, the first company that I knew that came out with it, jumped on it. The, the, the biggest difference I'll say for you as far as the vision goes is, is, is Stuff offers a light, a regular, a heavy. The regular 16 ounces, kind of a medium fill, medium, medium thickness, medium amount of flop to it. The light is a 15 Point eight, and the heavy is a 16.2 ounce bag. Now you're not really going to notice the difference in the weights when you pick the bags. It's not a big enough difference to really notice it, but what you will notice is the flop. The light bag's got a little less fill in it to touch thinner, touch looser, a little more flop to it. So if you like a floppier bag, go with the light. If you like a fuller bag, you go with the heavy. It's a little more fill to it, just a touch more. Not a big difference, subtle differences in that. And if you don't know really what you like, you're kind of more in the middle, go with the regular. So you can kind of, I, I love the customization stuff gives you. And, and 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 what's another beautiful thing about what they do is on their website, when you go to order a set of bags, you can order four regular bags right down the middle. You can order four light bags, you can order four heavy bags, or you can mix and match. You get any combination of light, regular, heavy you want. They give you all the options options in there when you choose. I love the customization that Stuff gives you. So if you've been wanting to play around with different weighted bags, definitely check out Stuff Cornhole on their website for their bag. I think most all, if not all, their bag lines and models offer the different weights for that. But for, for today, the Vision, um, definitely check it out if you're looking for a 6.9 speed bag. Anyway, the, the, the fill in here, medium amount of fill, it, you know, it does have some flop. This is, this is, this bag here in particular is a light bag. So you can see there is some flop here. It's not overly floppy. That thickness, that slow size still keeps some structure to it. So it's got flop, but overly floppy. This here is one of the heavy bags. And I don't know how well you can compare. In fact, here, I don't know. It's tough to do this and really and really show it to you. But you can see the light here and the heavy here. There is a definite difference in the amount of flop. We're only talking, you know, 0.4 ounces difference in weight. So 15.8 to 16.2. But there is a definite difference in the hand feel. So if you if you have a preference on how you like the bags to feel, you can choose the weights to match. And I love I love I just love that. I love that stuff is giving you that option to pick the bag that you want. Now the fill in here is a I'm pretty sure it's it's 100 flat fill. It's not that disc. It's that thicker flat fill. Uh, and, and, and I don't have a problem with it. I really like that. I'm usually not a fan of flat fill. I tend to like more of a bead fill, more of a mixed fill. But honestly, when I get to faster bags, I don't mind going to this flat fill. I'm still not a fan of that flat disc all the time, especially 100% flat disc. I don't mind mixing it in. But this fill played really well for me. I never noticed an issue with the fill. I never noticed really a problem with the bags hanging on the hole. It's a very forgiving fill. And this bag's material is pretty forgiving. So if you don't throw a flat bag, it's not a bag that's going to kick on you. It doesn't have a lot of balance. doesn't have a lot of movement. It's going to land fairly soft, very forgiving landing, run up the board there. You know, the flop on it, depending on which version you go, there's just enough flop that as long as you can catch a corner of the hole, it'll grab it, pull the bag back in. So I really didn't notice an issue. I never once threw the bag and said, Man, that fill has caused me problems, right? So it's 100% flat fills. So if you like flat fill bags, which most of you throw flat, fast bags, love flat fill. And that's kind of where this is a borderline on that fast bag, on the slow end of fast bags, if you're looking for that. Uh, these these vision are ACL stamped for 2024. So if you play an ACL events, you can throw the vision. Let's go ahead and jump in 
talk about playability on these bags. And as I mentioned, to me, this this is a whole running bag for me. Right? It's it's a fast. I tend to throw four and five speed slow side bags. That's kind of my wheelhouse. When I start getting to the six speed, that's when I just want to run bags in the hole. And it does a great job of that. Like it, it's it's wonderful for running bags in the hole. You still have a ton of control in the slow side, so I'm not worried when I throw this this bag flying off the back and being just impossible control. In fact, it, this bag even even at the speed it is, it still has enough control that you can slow the bag down and you can put blockers up if you want to. And the bag is not, it, it, it makes a great blocker, very easy to collect, right? So it's it's full enough that if you come down, you're clipping a corner, you're taking it, they don't really accord up. Even the, even the light bags, loose bags, don't really accord up that much. So very easy to collect. So you can get more aggressive putting that blocker, putting it if you want to. Not the best bag if you want to play a full dirty style game because I, I, the, the shot shaping is not the best on this as far as the cuts, rolls, flops. You can cut it, you can roll it, you can flop it. If you're, if you're, if you have those skills, you can definitely do it. The average to below average player is probably not doing it because it doesn't have that bouncy feel that you want when you're trying to make those aggressive shot shaping throws. It's that more forgiving feel in here. So, but you can still do it. Like I had no problem throwing cuts with it, subtle cuts. You're not making those harsh, aggressive cuts like you would with a stickier carpet bag or a fuller, bouncier bag would. But I had no problem with that. It's just something that is really not what this bag sh it, it is designed to do. Right? To me, this bag is designed for, for if you want to get up there and run bags in the hole. And, and I really think that the players that are going to benefit from this, and it really, it really kind of bridges the gap between fast fast bags and slow bag players, right? If you're a fast bag thrower and you're looking for a bag that you can play a dirty style game with, but you don't want to go to those carpet bags or even those hybrid material bags, that's where his vision comes in. It's got enough control for if you're used to throwing a seven or eight speed, you drop down to this little six speed, you can throw those blockers. Especially if you have a higher, softer, more of a finesse throw, you can definitely control the slow side down, put your blockers there and play a little bit more of a dirty style game with it. If you're a slower bag, a carpet bag thrower, and you're used to throwing those four speed bags, but you're looking for a bag that you can run the hole in for when you go to those tournaments and you get partners and blind draws, you get partners who just don't don't want to throw carpet or anything they only throw fast bags you can pull this out they can still run bags in the hole like they only do but you still have enough control that you're not going to be scared of throwing bags off the back so it's really kind of that middle ground bag between the two bridges of the gap so i think a lot of players can really benefit from this and again if the weights of bags is something you've been wanting to try out definitely check out stuff the vision is a great bag to start with i will say a little bit my about the weights is, is I've, I've played with it and what I, one thing i found out is Different weight bags play different speeds, but it's a touch difference. You know, so if I call this a six speed, you're, you're going to drop down a quarter of a speed for a lighter or heavier bag. You go up a quarter speed, whatever. And it's hard to really judge because it depends on your throw style. For, for I found for different people, the lighter bags play faster. And for other people, the heavier bags play faster. It depends on whether you're a harder thrower, a softer thrower. It also depends on board conditions. There's, there's a lot of variables. So it's really one of those things where if you're looking to buy a set of bags, you almost want to get more than four. You kind of mix and match different weights, get eight bags, get 12 bags. If you really, if you really like the style of this video, Vision bag. Right? Is it the bag you want? You really like it, but you want a bag you can tweak. Get, go with the different weights, mix and match them. And then as conditions change, you can pull out the same bag and a different weight and, and adjust the conditions without having to change bags completely and lose the feel of the bag, if that makes sense. So I think there's some advantages there to that. I think people, I think players are still a little slow to jump on that, the, the, the mix and match of the weight. It's still something that hasn't really been figured out. I think that's something that as more companies come out with it, players get more comfortable with it. It's something we can do. It leads me into availability and Stuff has a website, stuffcornhole.com. Put a link down in the description for you guys. And one of the great things about these bags, about Stuff bags, is they're 60 bucks for a set. You can get a set of Vision bags, $60. It was $9.60 for shipping. So just under 70 bucks shipped to you is a phenomenal price. Now, if you do start changing the weight, there is a little bit of an of a extra charge. There's a few bucks here or there, depending on how you want to mix and match, what you want to do. All that's listed on the, on the website. But if you get a regular set, 60, 69 6960 shipped to you phenomenal price for ACL stand mage you really can't beat that and it makes it worthwhile at that price it's definitely worth if you again if you're looking to try weights it's it's a it's something you can take a chance on and give it a shot so if you've thrown the vision I'd love to hear your feedback what you like what you don't like if you've tried bags of different weights I'd love to hear your feedback on your thoughts on that or on how how much you like it or how you're utilizing it to your advantage I always love to hear guys opinions I thank you so much for your support and I thank you for watching